first, a young child dies overnight, only hours after being rescued from a capsized boat. Good morning. I'm Audrina Vegas. And I'm Ryan Baker. Thanks so much for joining us today at 11. And hello to all of you streaming us live on CBS in Chicago. A seven year old boy was one of the nine people on board that small boat that capsized in the Chicago River. As CBS 2's Mugo Digway tells us, fire officials say not one of the kids on that boat was wearing a life vest. The boy's family is understandably distraught and did not want to talk to us on camera. Yesterday evening, he was rushed to Mercy Hospital in critical condition, but he died overnight. We've learned his name is Victor Lobato. Again, he was just seven years old. This is what things looked like yesterday evening as a helicopter dropped dive teams into the water. According to Chicago police, a cargo boat had passed by the boat the family was in, causing it to overturn. Chicago Fire says they got a call that nine people were missing along the river in a section that goes about 20 feet deep near Chinatown. The accessibility of, of where we actually found the, the victim versus where we retrieved everyone else, we're talking almost three blocks down, down, down river. Rescue crews were able to get most of the family out of the water, but didn't pull the seven-year-old boy out until family told them he was still missing. They found the boy unconscious under the capsized boat. Chicago Fire says none of the children was wearing a life vest and are once again reminding people about boat safety. Everyone needs to have a, a life jacket and don't overboard the boat. It was over nine people in the boat. It was a small craft, uh, kind of pretty packed up as far as uh, for uh, water safety. It's still not clear if the boy's family owned the boat or if it was rented, but Chicago fire officials are reminding people to always have a life vest on whenever they're out on the river. Along the Chicago River, Mugu Digwe, CBS 2 News.